There's a lot of different herbs and remedies out there that create effects, okay? Maybe multiple effects, but berberine takes it to the next level. Berberine is a chemical that comes from different plants, and it's most known for its effect on blood sugars, lowering your blood sugars, helping to make insulin more sensitive, attacking insulin resistance, okay, which, by the way, is at the heart of most health problems, including a fatty liver, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, including an oxidative LDL, which actually creates a, a lot of damage on the inside layer of your heart. And berberine has a very powerful potent effect directly on the interior wall of your arteries called the endothelial layer. So it can suppress that oxidation that's happening that's creating placking. So it actually helps shrink placking. And anything that helps insulin resistance is going to shrink your midline, your weight circumference. Berberine has antithrombotic effects. It improves the symptoms of Alzheimer's, which is type 3 diabetes. And it greatly improves the dawn phenomena, where you would wake up in the morning with your blood sugars too high uh, because you have severe insulin resistance, which is really a problem with gluconeogenesis, which is the production of new glucose from other things like protein and fats. Just think about a diabetic, right? They have high blood glucose. And you might think that the only reason their blood sugars are high is because they're eating too many carbs. But that's not 100% true. One big reason why their blood sugar is high is because their liver is making a lot of new sugar. It's called gluconeogenesis because their insulin resistance is so bad. And this is why berberine is equivalent to metformin, okay, the main medication they use in type 2 diabetes, but without the toxic effects. Now let's get into some other things that berberine can do. It can activate vitamin D conversion to the active form. When you take vitamin D or you're converting sunlight in your skin level, or you're converting your own um, vitamin D from the sun, it has to be converted to the active form. Well, guess what? Berberine helps that conversion. Berberine helps prevent cardiac muscle fibrosis from occurring after a heart attack or any type of damage involving a lack of oxygen called ischemia. So it's very protective against the cardiac muscles from getting this scar tissue. Berberine is also uh, neuroprotective. If there is toxicity in the neurons, berberine can help protect the neurons. Berberine has a, a really fascinating effect with neurotransmitters too. I'm talking about dopamine, talking about uh, serotonin, uh, noradrenaline in the hippocampus. So it has a direct improvement on your mood, increasing your mood from depression or anxiety to a normal mood. Berberine even helps the withdrawal side effects from coming off of a drug. Berberine is also very antimicrobial, antiviral, antibacterial, as well as having a capacity to improve your immune system, specifically your T cells. But out of all that, the real cool thing about berberine is it can actually reverse mitochondrial damage, improving more oxygen consumption, ATP production, electron chain transport, which basically is the conversion of fuel to ATP in all the different stages that occur. It's like the assembly line in the machine in the mitochondria that helps you make energy, as well as increasing the number of mitochondria. But other than that, I don't think berberine has any other positive effects that I can think of. Now, this is all really great and interesting, but unless your diet is correct, um, you're never going to fully get rid of insulin resistance. And for that information, you should watch this video right here.